Hello, my name is Sasha Dugdale and I was really lucky to be around for the beginning of new writing in Russia and the new writing revolution in Russia and um, I'd like to talk a little bit about it. And it's really nice to talk about it actually because it gives me a chance to remember those really quite heady days when um, everything seemed so everything in new writing seems so exciting and so everything seems so possible. I was working at the British Council in the late 1990s and two very frequent visitors to the, to the British Council were Lena Grinova and Alexei Kazantsev, both of whom were very linked with new writing through Lubimovka and um, the New Writing Centre in, in Moscow. And um, Lena and Alexei really wanted to link up with the British Council and do more new writing work because at the time, a very strong reputation of British new writing um, and the new wave of in your face playwriting, like um, sort of names like Mark Ravenhill and um, I think Carol Churchill, was also very, very important to, to Russian playwrights. And I was lucky because I went back to Britain and I met up with Elise Dodgson at the Royal Court Theatre, who agreed to collaborate with the British Council on a series of workshops and presentations and collaborative work. When we started, I don't really think we knew what we were quite getting into. The first event that we did was a discussion with Graham Wybrow, who was the literary manager at the Royal Court at the time, and that was supported by the Golden Mask and the other person in all this, uh, Tatiana Skolkova. So um, Graham came across and he said some extremely revolutionary things. I don't think he even realised he was saying them, but he said hmm. things like, at the Royal Court, the, the, the playwright is at the heart of the process, the playwright attends all rehearsals, um, the playwright has a say on casting and a veto as well on casting and um, the, the playwright is the most important person in the room and I think that that was such a shock and there were some really wonderful reports of that, that seminar of people, you know, completely wild with excitement, rage, but it certainly made some really big ripples. And then after that, there was a series of workshops and seminars run by Elise and various other directors and writers from the UK. And I think amongst those were um, um, uh, Ian Daldry, James McDonald, um, Rebecca Pritchard came out very in those very early days. Um, and um, the, the, the seminars were all about new writing, but quite soon, there was a, a, a Elise Dodgson mentioned a tradition of verbatim theatre in um, Britain, and um, she mentioned a play which had been staged by e, uh, by um, Stephen Daldry, which was a verbatim piece. And um, Lena and some other playwrights um, came to us and said that what they'd really like is a, a, a seminar or a workshop on verbatim. And I think Elise did the first one, Elise, Elise Dodgson. Mm -hmm. And then there were further um, verbatim style workshops with, with Stephen Daldry. And um, it, it, it kind of went wild, it was crazy. And I don't think any of us were prepared for that. Um, the sort of degree of engagement with, with verbatim and documentary theatre was completely unexpected. And of course, you know, like everything in Russia, it took its own course completely. It had a very different life form in Russia. It didn't really obey the rules of verbatim, or it did, it did occasionally, but it didn't have to. It was, it was very freeing and liberating and it became very important for a lot of people in new writing. And I think perhaps that was at least in part due to the, um, the, the, the slightly at the time stultifying nature of state repertory theatre and the fact that, you know, speech, real speech or everyday speech very rarely, was very rarely heard on, 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 on the big stages. And so this in its own way was, was revolutionary. And, um, those seminars happened over a few years, but one thing I remember is really notable was a, a series of a collage of performances um, of mm -hmm. short plays called mm -hmm. Moscow Open City, which had some wonderful playwrights in it. The very young Maxim Korichkin was part of that, and um, a number of other people um, who went on to become, you know, really, really established playwrights in Russia. And that came to London and was shown at the Royal Court. And um, together with the first. When, when did it come to London? I didn't realize that. 
he came to London in, I think it was either 2000 or 2001, mm -hmm. um, and um, the, the short sketches were shown. At that time, Gulliban came across and did a, a workshop, mm -hmm. and that was just before, about the same time as Vasily Sivilov's play, Plasticine, which was the first full-length production of a piece of Russian new writing. And that was, was really, really big, um, not least due to the fact that Vasily won an Evening Standard Award for Most Promising New Playwright. I think that's the first time it's ever been awarded to a playwright who wasn't writing in English and wasn't um, from the UK playwriting tradition. So that was quite a big sort of milestone in, in the whole thing. And it was followed by a lot of other uh, productions of Russian plays. There's two more of Vasily's plays, Lady Bird and um, Black Milk. And uh, the Presnikov plays Terrorism and um, Playing the Victim. And, and a whole host of other plays which, which were either done as staged readings or as, as small productions, including Vidupayev's Books of Oxygen and um, some documentary work from Siberia, the Kimerova Miners, you know, mm -hmm. Yevgeny Kushkavets, his theatre that he did once work with uh, Lorja, and Babu from Chelyabinsk, groups that I don't know um, made a tremendous impact actually at the time in London, and I'm not sure what they're doing now, but it was really exciting and, and heady time and um, like any revolution when you're there to, to witness it you don't necessarily know quite what you're living through but when you look back on it you see the sort of influence that it had on Russian theatre and through that on, on world theatre, on European theatre and world theatre it, it really is it really is um, it's exciting and I feel quite proud to have witnessed it and to have played a really small part in it. Um, I have no doubt that it made a lot of difference to the quality of writing around the world because it was so different and so, as you said, so, so unpredictable, so wild, so much its own thing and um, the more of that the better.